through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now... I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother.
And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. Ugh. Bitter? No. At least they make you feel better. Alright, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. <coughs> oh, some of the blight is... It's peeling off. Dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. 
I don't know how to put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Find anything good? A few supplies. <laughs> What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Oh, the machine carcasses as usual. And there we go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. That did it. After you. By the goddess. What was this? Place? I don't know. The transmission. The uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. Why it's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Then people will get sick too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. So, um... What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. Are you were right about that. Down this way. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Another one's coming. Someone shot this machine, too. So, after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I said, I can find you. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? I should be able to pry this open. I guess they want us to check it. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp. I doubt. We must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. 
It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Machine cable, stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. There, a uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. better than I thought. What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? This didn't turn up much. I better scan. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please, proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. I should open up my focus display and see what I can find. Well, that didn't do anything. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Wow, that worked. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. sapiens us we have always pushed the boundary as explorers pioneers trailblazers and now far zenith is taking the next leap into the future that's why we're proud to have resurrected the odyssey when our governments abandoned in orbit far zenith will actualize in less than a decade but that's only the beginning when the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say.
We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity... it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well... didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. The wilds have really blown over this place. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. Keep your guard up. Oh, up my guard is. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. Mine's down too. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. I've been meaning to mention, I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. Machine's head. I don't think they spotted us. Better scan them. We're clear. Let's keep going then. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And we're getting stronger. More frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. 
You were born to fix all that? Yeah. I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Looks like we've got to climb up. This place is really falling apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other... Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering. An obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but... She's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Rolf. We should keep moving. After you. I think we're almost back outside. Good. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. None of those machines. <laughs> A new weapon on it. All of the Oscar and Delvers. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Looks like we can cross over here. So, you said this backup is the last hope? Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. 
He was worse. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? I'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get... <laughs> if I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. giant machines killing Osirum and leaving acid everywhere. <sighs> Great. That was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. I won't be able to make that jump. There is a cable here. Uh... Go, but up. Really holding together. <laughs> Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now how to get up the tower.
thing down to get to the data center. I should stand for this spot. Heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay. I should find the server room. I'm close. I have to be. Please be here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzian's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And your subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess! I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake! sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. 
and he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually, I've got a better idea. Savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashane, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling about this. I could pull this thing out of the house. What? Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. I need to get closer. There we go. No. I would cross over the fire. Oh, should be able to get up there. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. But it looks like he 
tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Uh, looks like this panel's ajar. Uh, can I go up through the inside? I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You read the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll go find you, Art. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. God! Inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. 
We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. That's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. There, the workbench. Okay, master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Uh, uh, is that a statue of me? That's new. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Aloy, are you finished with your friends? Or do you need more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Solemnness 
seen anyone use one of those to get around is that how I get to Baron light uh, yes I mean usually but not today uh, not yet and why is that well the daunt the whole valley it's infested with machines I can handle machines Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones. Lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross all them. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Ranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man. So says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... this... what? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests 
most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Those machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. It's a dead machine. It must be a bristleback. It must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear, too. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Want to come in, Savior? Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jorah's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy. What are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah. Of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. What do you want, Olvund? Some kind of payment 
My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Friol, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is gonna get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja Magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Where are you off to? Is that a tripwire? Oh, Larry has worked with him. Hey! You! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers! It's always something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do! Try luring them into the tripwires. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. I've been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of. Well, accidents. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip, Caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Tracks. Through the errands and the vanguards. These bristlebacks are everywhere. Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. No boring mid-afternoon patrols. Just the hammer. Just the fight. Aloy? Errand.
Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. Get me down. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. That turns into scrap, Aloy. Uh, <laughs> caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Uh, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? Well, well that's great. I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Erend, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually... Even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. Oh, Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Erend, I left when I did, how I did, for a reason. A good one. Oh, thanks for sharing. Listen to me. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. What are you talking about? Exactly what I just said. Everything living is going to die unless I... fix a piece of technology created by the Old Ones. And time's running out. Well, I... Yeah, I guess that's the reason, all right? <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, Aaron! By the forge. Yeah, I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you you need it elsewhere, obviously. We'll make it without you. What are those awesome doing out here? Quick! Gotta scrap them before the scroungers get them! Oh, that bristlebacks charging right at them! Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, look at that thing! Ah! There! Corey's safe. Stranger, come on over here! We gotta talk.
I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work. But Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain Scrape can get back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. Vwadis, too. Then, maybe this embassy can finally happen. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day. Or two. No. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Terrific. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. Just right wanted. I bet he's in. Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain says. When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's worse. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightwadis. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. get around faster if I find a charger to override. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Gentlemen. Uh, that's our cue. <sighs> taking the edge off? Oh, it's the end of the world's coming. I don't be sober for it. Now, let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So whatever you need, ask away. How have things been since Your I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. When I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vwadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. 
It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I better get going. Right, you know, I have to do complicated Aloy things. Maybe just don't disappear completely this time. No promises. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Huh? Hopefully sober next time. I don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Where is this Commander Nozar then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three Plans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it.
I'm asking nicely. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hey, Vara. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's Order happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. So this tribe that Marab told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west. Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to him. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You'll have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. 
Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakhs can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! Open the gates! Open the gates! 
don't have a shot! Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Here they come! Kill them all! Oh. One more traitor dead! Challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war, Bunny Kong. Ah! Move out! Without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort.
It's salvage time, boys. trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Fashav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Taking over the land out here too. Something's going on back here. All other armor. You really think you can do that, Karuf? If it isn't the savior of Meridian and of my very own operation, Laren, say hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. I was at Baron Light when the Tanakh attacked. Nasty business. But every Kajar in Asaram is thankful you drove him off. So what are you doing out here? Well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure in the West. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that's ready to take advantage. We'll buy any scrap you've got. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden, dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible, that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again? I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> and that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chainscrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got 
to help me. What are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. Their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage. It'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. I'm counting on you, Aloy. Ha! I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. This must have been a huge oh, I gave everything I had to slow down the Pharaoh Swarm. To buy Sirid on time. I need to take down that Shellwalker for Laren to salvage. I'll dry off. Eventually. A workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed. About the mysterious signal that gave you life. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Uh, some kind of log, most of it's redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Well, I better see where this trail leads. goes. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a pharaoh facility.
Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Eloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Known viable biospheres aborted. Five four two one six one two one six eight. So that that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see, so... All those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you... I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? <sighs> All right, I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Eloy, thanks to me, everything you desired... Everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Four 
messed up obviously but despite the malfunction you can still get through if you'll be patient for a while longer see those crystals there the asram call them fire gleam they're combustible not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that but maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more exactly it will only work with an igniter I'm sending you the schematics now. I'd step back if I were you. Finally. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Bet I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. There's more of the facility over there. I better take a look. Door. What's that console next to it? Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening feet.